What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We are taking a look at Luna Classic here, just seeing essentially what's been going on over the past few months. You can see we've obviously Luna has been um, having a very nice move off of its initial, you can see obviously it launched here up at around, what was this? Is that a half of a cent? We'll say half a cent. But so just under half a cent launch price, obviously a big collapse to dump to the downside. And then since then it has been showing some fairly bullish market structure, hasn't it? You can see these higher highs and higher lows. It pumped all the way up here, up to around this very, very high price point of around a sixth of a cent, I believe that is. Obviously, we had a bit of a retracement here. We pulled the fib from the low to the high, so we can see some of these retracement targets. And you can see pretty much what's been going on here for the extensions, at the very least. You can see up here we've got some nice extension targets. If Luna Classic does continue to pump in the future, you can see very clearly there's a few retrace, uh, retracement targets here that we have been hitting. We came up, obviously, we pulled our Fibonacci from this low to this high here. We come down. Obviously, we lost the 7.8 straight away. We came down into the 6.8 where we got a bit of a bounce. But then we got stuck under the resistance of the 0.78, didn't we? We started to roll back down to the downside. And then, obviously, with the FTX collapse that we did see on the daily time frame here, you can see we lost the 6.18 as support, which was holding fairly well in this area for a while, wasn't it? And we came down with a big wick all the way down to this key level in and around you would say this previous swing high here, where we came down, you know, we were sitting on this level, which did happen to be that 050 as well for a long, long time here. But over the past week or so, we have finally lost that low with Bitcoin getting rejected at that 18, 19K level, that previous resistance flipped, that previous support flipped into resistance. And we could see, you know, Luna here, it's come down, made a new local low, heading to the downside by the looks of things, looking for to find a bit of support, probably going to be on the next Fibonacci level down at the 038 here, down at around that, what is that? Is it a tenth of a cent? Is it a twentieth, a hundredth of a cent? It's really, really hard to tell with these tiny decimals, but you can see quite clearly where the next target is down at this level here, most likely on our Fibonacci levels. You can see it on the hourly time frame pretty clearly what's been going on. You can see we came down, we lost our 050 level of support, obviously, and we came down big wick to the downside here. Came back up, a little bit of a renaissance over the past few days, and then obviously coming back down to retest the low. We came down into this area here and got a rejection and you can see very clearly here we are looking at potentially some bullish divergences as well for Luna. So you'd probably expect it to come back up in our opinion up into at least this area of uh, this area of structure here or coming up to at least retest this resistance over the next few weeks at that 050 level because that does need to be retested because it never actually got retested here did it after it got lost as support so it'll be interesting to see what happens next. Obviously Luna Classic very volatile very risky in our opinion. But overall, you know, this chart, it's still actually looking fairly bullish, isn't it? It's still making higher highs and higher lows, and we could easily see it come up and make a new higher high over the next few months if the pump and the hype around it does continue. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.